This is a tutorial on solving a quadratic function by graphing. When we solve a quadratic equation, we're actually taking a quadratic equation and we're setting it equal to zero. Or, since it's y is equal to this quadratic equation and we're setting that equal to zero, we're saying that y is equal to zero. Well, if we were to graph this quadratic equation, we would be looking for places on that graph where y is equal to zero. Well, those are places where the graph crosses the x-axis. So we're looking for x-intercepts of this quadratic equation. Now, these x-intercepts are sometimes called solutions, but they're also sometimes called zeros or roots. Now, quadratic equations can have two solutions, one solution, or zero solutions. Let's talk about the kind that have two real solutions. Here we have y is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 3. Now, if I wanted to find the zeros or the roots, or I wanted to solve this quadratic function, I could graph it. Now, if we graph it, the first step to graphing a quadratic is to find its axis of symmetry. So if we do that, we use the formula x is equal to negative b over 2a. Now, this quadratic is already in standard form, which means my a is 1 and my b here is negative 2. So if I plug that in, I'll have a negative, negative 2 over 2 times 1. This is equal to just 1, so our axis of symmetry then is the line x is equal to 1. Now that I have my axis of symmetry, my next step is to find my vertex, and I find that by plugging my x value of my axis of symmetry back into my original quadratic equation. If I do that, I'll have y is equal to 1 squared minus 2 times 1 minus 3. Now 1 squared is 1, and minus 2 times 1 is minus 2, and then minus 3 again. We have the y-coordinate of 1 minus 2 is negative 1, minus 3 again would be negative 4. So our vertex is the point 1, negative 4. Now lastly, we need one more point to graph this quadratic. I'm going to pick the y-intercept because that's easy to solve for. That occurs when x is equal to 0. So if I plug that back into our quadratic, we'll have y is equal to 0 squared minus 2 times 0 minus 3. Now 0 squared is 0 and negative 2 times 0 is 0. So our y coordinate is just negative 3. So we have the point 0, negative 3. So let's plot all this. First we'll do our axis of symmetry here. It's the line x is equal to 1, and it'll look something like this. Next, I'm going to plot my vertex, which is the point 1, negative 4, which would be right here. And then I'm going to plot this other point that I found, 0, negative 3. It's right here. Now, if I have a point one space to the left of my axis of symmetry, that means I also have a point one space to the right of my axis of symmetry. So I'll have another point right there. Now I got three points and I can connect the dots with a smooth curve. And our graph will look something like that. Notice that we have two x-intercepts. We have one here at x is equal to negative one, and we have another one here at x is equal to three. So, the solutions, or the roots, or the zeros, of this quadratic function here are x is equal to negative 1 and x is equal to negative 3. Now you can test these by just plugging them back in. I'll test the first one here, x is equal to negative 1. If we do that, we'll have y is equal to negative 1 squared minus 2 times negative 1 minus 3. Now negative 1 squared is 1. Negative 2 times negative 1 is a positive 2, and then subtract 3. 1 plus 2 is 3, minus 3 is y is equal to 0, which is what we were hoping would happen. 
So you can solve a quadratic function just by graphing it and looking at where it intercepts the x-axis. Now let's try solving a quadratic function that has only one real solution, or root, or zero. Here we have y is equal to x squared plus 4x plus 4. Now we're going to follow the same steps. We're going to graph this. So first we're going to find its axis of symmetry. We're going to use the formula x is equal to negative b over 2a, where b is 4 and our a is 1. Now if we plug that in, we'll have a negative 4 over 2 times 1. So a negative 4 over 2, or our axis of symmetry is x is equal to negative 2. Now that we found our axis of symmetry, our vertex lies on that line, which means it has an x-coordinate of negative 2. So we'll plug in negative 2 back into our quadratic to find the y-coordinate of our vertex. So we'll have y is equal to negative 2 squared plus 4 times negative 2 plus 4. Now negative 2 squared will be 4. 4 times negative 2 is a negative 8, and then plus 4, we get y is equal to 0. So our vertex is the point negative 2, 0. Now we're going to need one more point. I'm going to choose the y-intercept because it's easy to solve for. The y-intercept occurs when x is equal to 0. So if I plug that back into my equation, I'll have 0 squared plus 4 times 0 plus 4. 0 squared is 0. 4 times 0 is 0. So y is just equal to 4. So our other point is going to be 0, 4. So let's plot this stuff. Here we have our axis of symmetry at x is equal to negative 2. And it's going to look something like this. Next we'll plot our vertex, which is the point negative 2, 0, which is right here. And then I'm going to plot my y-intercept, which is at 0, 4, which is up here. Now if I have a point two spaces to the right of my axis of symmetry, then this parabola has a point two spaces to the left of my axis of symmetry. So I have my three points, and I connect them with a the smooth curve. So there's the graph of x squared plus 4x plus 4. Notice that I have only one x-intercept. It's my vertex. So since I only have one x-intercept, I have only one real solution. This is the point negative 2, 0, or my solution is x is equal to negative 2. Now we can test this. If we plug in x is equal to negative 2 into our quadratic, we should get y is equal to 0. So we'll have negative 2 squared plus 4 times negative 2 plus 4. Negative 2 squared is 4. 4 times negative 2 is a negative 8 and then plus 4. 4 minus 8 is negative 4 plus 4 is indeed 0. So our solution then of y is equal to x squared plus 4x plus 4 is x is equal to negative 2. So now we're going to talk about our last type of quadratic, one that has no real solutions. Here we have y is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 2. Now again, if we wanted to solve this by graphing, we would first plot the quadratic function. So the first thing we do is find our axis of symmetry using the formula x is equal to negative b over 2a. Our b is 2, our a is 1. So we'll have negative 2 over 2 times 1. Negative 2 over 2. So our axis of symmetry is x is equal to negative 1. Now I need to find my vertex, so I plug in my axis of symmetry coordinate back into my original equation. I'll have y is equal to negative 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1 plus 2. Negative 1 squared is 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 and then plus 2. My y coordinate then 
is 1, or my vertex is the point negative 1, 1. Now I'm going to need one other point. So again, I'm going to try the y-intercept, or when x is equal to 0. So I'll plug that in, of y is equal to 0 squared plus 2 times 0 plus 2. 0 squared is 0, 2 times 0 is 0, so y is equal to 2, so we have the point 0, 2. So I'm going to plot all this. First I'm going to plot my axis of symmetry. It's the line x is equal to negative 1, and it's going to look something like this. Next I'm going to plot my vertex. It's the point negative 1, 1, which is right there. And then I'm going to plot my y-intercept here at 0, 2, which is right here. Now if I have a point, one space to the right of my axis of symmetry, this is a parabola, so I also have a space one to the left of my axis of symmetry. Connect these with a smooth curve, which will look something like that. Here's the graph of x squared plus 2x plus 2. Notice that it does not cross the x-axis. So there are no x-intercepts. There are no zeros. There are no roots. So this one has no real solutions. And we can tell that just from the graph. So we've graphed quadratics with two real solutions, one real solution, and now no real solutions. So that completes the tutorial on solving a quadratic function by graphing.